field now for race number eight. Eighth race, Tions and Gildings, race a mile. Purse of $1,900. Field of eight, no changes. Nine minutes to post. Here's the field number one, Miracle Brian, owned by James Tiverson and Billy Toomey of Marion. Andrew Miller trains, Del Miller drives. Number two, Sports View. Larry Fulham, the owner, Adam Broker, the trainer, and Eric Lundford, the driver. Number three, Happy Listening, laced, trained, and driven by Jeff Williams, son of Xenia. Number four, Simcoe's Image, owned and trained by Max Mauser of London for Jerry Mauser. Number five, Linda Penny, owned by Lowell Prickett of Wilmington. Tom Prickett is the trainer driver. The six, Race and Rufus, laced and trained by Marlon Smith of Thornville. Mike Wilder up. The seven is too critical. Owned by Vicki McNabb of Franklin. Jeff McNabb trains and drives. Number eight, Tucson Forbes, owned by Alvia Long and Neil Long of Ohio. Alvia Long trains. Downer Vine Jr. in the sulky. Win play show perfect to try effect wagering less than eight minutes. Eight race, Stallions and Gildings are along behind the gate. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and first away, Simcoe's image alongside racing a second. It's happy listening. Coming away third, Sports View and Miracle Brian from off the pylons. Fourth, far outside. Here comes Tucson Forbes. He's underway early. As they swing to the first turn, sixth half the rail. It's the five, Lando Penny. Two lengths, sixth, Race and Rufus. They approach the first quarter mile marker. The opening panel in 27 and 1. Lively opening panel here and on the front. It's Simcoe's image with the lead, and Mauser looking to reel him in here for a short breather. Happy listening directly behind him. Sports View is next. Miracle Brian is on the inside fourth. Linda Penny fifth. And first up comes Race and Rufus. Too critical. Tagging that cover quickly. Comes to the outside. Racing seventh. Now the trailer is Tucson Forbes. Approaching the half. And on the front, it's Simcoe's image with a lead. He's heavily favored here at 9 to 5. Half. 59 seconds. Swinging to the back stretch, and it's Simcoe's image by a length and a half, too. Race and Rufus on the outside is there, stalking the leader with happy listening, enjoying a trip at the rail third. Too critical. Outside drafting with cover fourth, and at the rail in fifth. It's sports view to the outside sixth, Linda Penny. Then comes Miracle Brian and Tucson Forms lagging behind. Into the final turn they go, and it's still Simcoe's image. He's had it his way the entire mile, but Mauser is now asking for more. Three quarters and 128. Happy listening on the inside is right there and poised to strike and now comes to the outside. It's Simcoe's image, but happy listening is right there and Linda Penny also into the picture with less than an eighth. And down the stretch they come and it's Simcoe's image on the outside comes happy listening and far outside Linda Penny into deep stretch. Linda Penny at 14 to 1, getting up to win it in 158 and 1. Second, number four, Simcoe's image. Third, number three, happy listening. Five, four, three. Here is the winner, number five, Linda Penny. Eight-year-old son of General Skipper from the American Nightmare, Penny Knight. Owned by Lowell Prickett of Wilmington. Trained and nicely hailed tonight by Tom Prickett. Linda Penny coming home strong in the stretch, recording his second win of the season. The mile in one, 58 and one. Eighth race, official. $2 perfect of five.